hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is nancy and if you're new here please subscribe share and like my videos and also put the notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos thank you in today's class i'll be showing you how to make a rectangular crop top which can be styled on a long or a short pant or even a skirt depending on how you want to rock it the name of the fabric i used is called a shiny face bridal satin and I used one yard, though I won't be using up to that amount. The first step is to fold the fabric into two, then you further fold it into two. So I practically folded it into four. The wideness of the fold I'll be working with depends on the measurements you get from the center back of your client down to the sleeve length. So from the center back to my sleeve length is 23 inches. So you can see how I measured it. The center back is the center of the fold down to the sleeve length, which is 23 inches. Now I'll trim the excess fabric at the side. So I stopped trimming to this point so I can use the bottom part to make a long belt instead of having some joining on the belt so let's get started with the measurements the neck width i'm making use of is three inches for a plus size person you can use four inches since this fabric is folded into four it means we'll be having the front and the back piece after cutting so for the back piece i'll be making use of 1.5 inches as a neck depth which i'll then connect to the neck width as shown for the front piece, I'll be marking 7 inches as the neck depth. Then on this 7 inches point, I'll go in by 1 inch as shown, which I'll then connect to the neck width. The next step is to mark the length of the top. The length of the top is 17 inches, but I'll be adding the 2 inches band to the waist. So if I subtract 2 inches from 17 inches, that will be 15 inches. So instead of marking 15 inches, I'll be marking 16 inches because of the joining at the shoulder line and the joining I'll be using to attach the band. At the end of the sleeve opening, I'll mark 2 inches above the length of the top. Then at this point, I'll go in by 1 inch. I'll extend this point to the length of the top. The next step is to trim out the excess fabric. So I'll start by cutting out the neckline for the back piece. Obviously, the top has a rectangular shape, and this is the reason why it's called a rectangular crop top. So, yeah, below the sleeve opening, I have to make a little curve here so it can be easily sewn. The next step is to trim out the neckline for the front piece. The neck depth for the front piece was 7 inches, but here yeah, I'll be extending this 1 inch I marked initially straight down to the bottom. Now I'll trim this out. The next step is to place the right side of the front piece on the right side of the back piece as shown the 
Now I'll take this to the sewing machine to secure the shoulder by half an inch. After securing the shoulder, the next step is to use the bias tape to tape the neckline all through. After securing the neckline, the next step is to secure the sleeve opening by folding in half an inch and further folding it in by half an inch in such a way that a half inch elastic band can pass through it. Here I'll be introducing the half inch elastic band for the sleeve opening. So my sleeve opening is 9 inches. Since my round sleeve is 9 inches and I don't want the elastic band to be too tight because the sleeve opening of the top is actually large. I'll just subtract 3 inches from that 9 inches and that will give me 6 inches. This means that I'll have two elastic band of 6 inches long. The next step is to use a safety pin to insert the elastic into the elastic casing. Alright guys, after inserting the elastic, this is how it should look like. The next step is to fold the back piece into two to notch the center of the top. After notching the center of the top, I turned it to the wrong side of the fabric. The next step is to place your bust circumference divided by 4. But if your waist is bigger than your bust, that means you won't be working with your bust measurements here. You'll just be working with the waist measurements. So since my bust is bigger than my waist, I am working with the bust measurement. My bust circumference divided by 4 is 8.5 inches. Now I'll place my tape on this points i marked on 8.5 inches then i'll mark the side then at the other side i'll add 8.5 inches and that will be like 17 inches all together this simply means that my bust measurement divided by 2 is 17 inches and 17 inches divided by 2 is 8.5 inches The next step is to take the top to the sewing machine to sew from the elastic to this 8.5 inches I marked at this side. The next step is to cut out the band in which you'll be attaching the bottom of the top to. So yeah, I have the wideness to be 4 inches and a length of about 60 inches long. Now I'll notch the center of the band. The next step is to pin the center of the band 
to the center of the opening. After pinning, I'll take this top to the sewing machine to secure the band. The final step is to fold the band into two to secure the edges of the band. so this is the outcome of the top you should give it a try i hope this tutorial was helpful and if you are new to my channel my name is nancy please subscribe share and like my videos and also put on your notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos